Let me let me ask and, you about that with just in terms of inflation, because you had told uh, us at a town hall, I think it was in July, that the in, this was just near term inflation. The Wall Street Journal recently talked to like 67 uh, financial experts who said that they they saw high inflation going all the way or deep into 2022. Do you think it's going to last for a while? I, I don't think so. I don't think it will last if depending what we do. Do you have and, plans to visit the southern border? Uh, I've been there before, and I haven't. I mean, I know it well. I guess I should go down, but the but, but the whole point of it is I haven't had a whole hell of a lot of time to get down. You notice you're not seeing a lot of pictures of kids lying on top of one another with, uh, you know, with 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 with, blank, with uh, um, you know, uh, looks like tarps on top of them. I'm wondering where you stand on that. Should police officers, emergency responders, be mandated to get vaccines, and if not, should they be? stay at home or let go yes and yes the mandates are working freedom i have the freedom to kill you with my COVID. no i mean come on freedom like what they're saying about my buddy colin powell and he was my friend he passed away colin powell was vaccinated and he still died clearly would have been gone earlier had he not gotten the vaccine you know what i find fascinating i turn on fox to find out how popular i am but I, How are you doing there? I'm doing very well. I think I'm at 3% favorable. We're going to be able to train up those home care workers who are usually minority women, women of color, as well as immigrants. And they have the capacity to learn more as they go along to move to the point where they can become practical nurses and things like that. So it makes a lot of sense and it's cheaper, yeah. cheaper than it is to not do it. Are you close to a deal? I think so. You know, look, I've been a, I was a senator for 370 years <laughs> and uh, I was never I, I was relatively good at putting together deals. Is this the toughest deal you've worked on? No. But what we're trying to do is reach a point here where I'm able to present to the Senate, they're able to vote on and the House, a serious, serious piece of legislation that changes the dynamic for working class folks in America and middle class folks and begins to have the very wealthy and corporate members just begin to pay their fair share. How we get there, we're down to four or five issues, which I'm not going to negotiate on national television, as you might guess. We'd be like, no, interested no, no, in hearing no, them no, if you no, want. No, I know. The existential threat to humanity is climate change. 